What's up, everybody? It's Chris with Every Time with Chris. Got some stuff from Amazon. New fish tank heater. And some medicine. Oh, no easy ripper. That's okay. I got this right here. I usually buy Hyger, but I thought I would try Pulaco because their reviews were like non existent. Nobody reviews Hyger stuff or Pulaco. So I thought I would try it. I had luck with one, and then one of them blew within like 31 days, I think it actually took for it to blow up. So far, this does not look like anywhere near the same as the Tulaco one. Do it like this. This one, you can see the metal. You see that? I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. But this is what this one looks like. Kind of crazy. Suction cups look a lot nicer than the Pulaku one. That's for sure. The top is smashed in pretty good, but... I'll inspect that. To make sure there's no rubber seal busted. Looks fine. This. That looks like pretty nice. I wonder if there's an off. Does not feel like there's an off. But that's that. Just, I might edit this part out. That's the medicine that came in the bag. I don't think this has a, I don't think there's any way it can get messed up in shipping. Yeah, for some reason, Amazon's not clearing the charge for this. So I thought maybe they were worried about it. But that looks like 324 packs to me. Harrison 2. I'm not going to count every single one, but Marison 2, Marison 2, Marison 2. They look to be stuffed with about the same amount of material, but we're going to shove this guy into my fish tank and see how it goes. Real quick before I shove it in the tank, you can see right there, it's not fully filled with that material. I'm not exactly sure if that matters, but yes. We're going to go put it in. Take three. I wiggled it around and knocked on the glass a little bit to see if I can get some sand between the heating element and the quartz tube, and it worked. It looks like the heating element is now fully disappeared. You can see the wires coming in right there and a solid piece of plastic or rubber right there. Not too concerned about it. I just didn't want that heating element directly on the, uh, won't focus, on the glass. But you can see it's gone. 
I just put it this way, knocked on it, put it this way, knocked on it, and now that's the aftermath. Now we're going to put it in. I did a water change yesterday, and I guess we clouded it out pretty good. Anyway, pygmy quarries are super happy. Betafish hates when I bust out my phone. Hates it, hates it, hates it. I'm coming in there. I've never actually had a problem in this tank. That's more of preventative measure. Anyway, this is my temporary heating solution. The old trusty dusty, like, snake heater or like, you know, not an aquarium heater. This goes under like a lizard cage, a hamster cage, a bird incubator for plants, anything like that really. It's just a heating pad, but I'm going to pull this out and then that's it. That's all I got heating in there. And you can't really see that well, but that's where the heater will be. All right, we are in. I know the tank looks horrible now, but I have to note the wire on this thing is extremely thick and maneuvering the heater to get it into the tank where you want it is not the easiest thing on the planet. Now, some of you might think, oh, that's, not, that's horrible, I'm not going to buy it. It's actually a really good thing because you can crease this wire right here, you know, like bend it to make a good loop like that. And then once your heater is in there and, you know, chills for a little bit, this will stay better that way. So then next time you have to take it in and out of the tank, it'll be like pre-molded to fit in that spot. Uh, the wire is really thick. That's usually a very good thing. Indicates good wires, good insulation, blah, blah, blah. And you get to do stuff like that. But once you get it in there... The suction cups are awesome. I mean, compared to that Pulaco, the suction cups appear to be twice as thick. And once they stick to the glass, I mean, they are stuck. So wiggling it around, you know, tapping the glass, blah, blah, blah. You can see the sand lowered quite a bit more. I'm not concerned about it. Uh, I can only see wires. I went over here and took a peek like spun the heater and took a look. All you see is wires, not what it's connected to, so I'm not worried about that. But I might do another courtesy water change really fast because I stirred up a bunch of poop while the heater acclimates and then we will plug in the heater together. I was hoping they would do this. The pygmy quarries love water changes. I'm pretty sure the water coming in is 74. The water they're in right now is between 80 and 84. Oh, I know. It's too much of a difference. You're not changing 100% of the water. So, like, the, the rocks are the temperature of the water. The wood, there's more wood inside the plants back there. All the rocks, the sand, the dirt all my substrate, whatever, it's all the same temperature. So that 74 degree water, once it hits that 80 degree water, it's hardly going to change. We're going to check the temperature of the water before we turn on the new heater. But fish like these absolutely love dramatic water changes. I think it tells them like their summers here or whatever their particular water conditions are here. But enough about me. Let's enjoy them for a moment. Go slow. Super awesome fish. Some of my favorite fish I own. I zoomed out, hoping the other one is nearby, perched on a leaf. I don't see him. Yeah, there's another one in here somewhere. Unless it died, but... 
I don't think so. That was the female. <clears throat> they do jump a little bit. Very rare, they actually fully leap. She just did it, you heard it. It's live. There's the sixth one right there. I got a lazy fish. But the other ones are super active. Here we go. We're going to plug in the heater. I moved the tank and never repositioned my electronics here, so doing that today I guess I forgot to do a lot since I got injured plug it in we're fired up I can't even see I'm gonna use my phone we're gonna set it to 80 yeah, it looks like 80 to me. Seventy four in my room. Holy cow. My girlfriend likes it hot. The tank is about seventy seven point four. Seventy seven point four. We'll come back. Oh man. We'll come back and uh I'm gonna give it two hours just to fully do its thing. I'm gonna put the lid back on just to because if you have a really small tank like this, that's a fifty watt heater. I think it's too big because I have a lid. But if you don't have a lid so much heat leaves through the top. <clears throat> Put a lid on your tank. If you live in a cold environment. I think it's warm in there now. Yeah, the light's off. So, if you don't know about fish tanks, it's good to have a little drip spot on your cords that drip away from your electronics. Yeah, just some food for thought. So, oh yeah. Got the thermometer. Still 74 in my room. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Seventy nine point three. I'm happy with that. It's set to eighty. Ow, I just stabbed myself. It's set to eighty. You can see my little notch right there is literally right on eighty. It's at seventy nine point three. You are extremely accurate. Higer 50 watt quartz heater. That's gonna sum up this video. I'll post the video when it breaks.